Okay, let's build a customer service AI agent in N8N. I have my new flow here, customer service AI agent. Let's start with first step, make this to trigger on a chat message. That's a good start. And, um, and then attach a agent. Then we need to add a chat model. I like Anthropic. So let's use Anthropic. Uh, let's use to sign at 4.5 because it's gonna do Shopify GraphQL queries and this is a smart model to do that kind of queries which can get very complicated. Let's add a memory, simple memory for now, that's fine. Um, yeah, and tools. So this is where what we're gonna do first is to um, attach the dtc.sh MCP server. Let's take a look, HTTPS mcp.dtc.sh slash customer dash service slash sse and it's going to use header auth i'll just connect it to my account here tools to include let's take a look um that's removable server sent to that Heather Roth and selected. Yeah. So vectorized knowledge base is one tool so that uh, we can get our knowledge base up there into the vector database. That's going to allow us to do searches in a knowledge base, which is search knowledge base as a tool. So that means that before answering a customer's question, our AI agent can search the knowledge base. Vectorized customer message um, is a tool. So every time a customer sends a message along with its answer, it can be vectorized. That means that our, our AI agent in the future can search those customer messages to come up with better answers. So we're trying to build a really basic agent right now. So that's gonna have four MCP tools provided by dtc.sh. So let's uh, move this over here. Actually give it a name. dtc.sh customer service MCP server. So dtc.sh is e-commerce specific operations MCP servers. And uh, let's make this a little bit smaller here. So we can immediately start testing this. Let's save this. And using our chat over here, um, we can try to vectorize our knowledge base. So I have already this um, knowledge base that's kind of like a test knowledge base. It can be very long. Uh, but this is kind of like a basic um, customer support knowledge base template. So we want to vectorize this. Uh, I want to get the PDF URL for this uh, Google Drive. So let me just grab that. And let's say vectorize knowledge base from URL, so this is my PDF URL. And let's watch it now. Our AI agent goes to work, ask an anthropic LLM model what to do. Now it's hitting up our customer service MCP server and it's running. So hopefully it's doing what it's supposed to do. It should be hitting up the vectorized knowledge base um, and then come back with, check this out. Great, let's just make this a little bit bigger, did it. Knowledge base document has been created, stored, document ID, six text chunks. So it broke 
this down into six different chunks. Uh, what it does is it grabs thousand uh, words, I think, each, and then creates a chunk with a 200 word overlap so that we don't store the whole thing all at once. So now we, we can try to do like a test search here. Um, you know what, let's do it like this. Let's turn this on. Activate it, close these. And you'll see this chat is gonna have a public chat URL. So we can grab this and save it. Then go and create a new tab and type it in. And here, let's just say, what is your return policy? So now, uh, while it's answering that, we can go to the executions and see what it did in the previous one. So this one is running right now. Uh, but the previous one for vectorizing, uh, you can see like what it did. It actually came to our ptc.sh um, and then it asked uh, vectorize knowledge base tool and pass in the URL and in return it got back this answer uh, from there and in this one let's go back to our look check this out what's your return policy based on the knowledge base here is our return policy so it went back let's take a look at it and see what it did um, it went back let's make it smaller and it went to search knowledge base, queried return policy. So then it goes to the Pinecone vector database, tries to find those chunks related to return policy. So you see, we're not trying to get the whole knowledge base document back. That's gonna be ridiculous. It's gonna bloat the context and the AI agent is gonna start hallucinating and fail because of the context windows. So what we're trying to do is just to get the relevant parts from our knowledge base. In this case, it got the relevant parts uh, and then put it together and then gave us the answer that we need. So that's great. So this is the basic part of uh, the customer service agent. So now let's add another MCP tool. Imagine, uh, you know, we have a Shopify store. Let's imagine a scenario where our AI agent wants to give order updates um, to uh, order updates to the customer. So let's add another MCP tool. Again, um, MCP client here, and let's name this ptc.sh Shopify MCP server. So URL for that is mcp.dtc.sh slash Shopify admin slash SSE, server sent, authentication, header auth. That's gonna use my test MCP key. So let's look at the tools in here. Shopify GraphQL query, um, search docs chunks. So these are the Shopify dev server um, MCP tools combined with Shopify GraphQL query. So what this is gonna do is our AI agent is gonna do documentation search for how to do things inside of Shopify using Shopify's GraphQL query language so it can perform operations. So we're gonna test that out. So we connected this one um, and we connected this one. So let, let's save. So in order to test a real life scenario, let's now change hats and become a customer. So I have a test Shopify store here um, and let's go make a purchase and, and then go back to the customer service as a customer and ask some questions about our purchase and then let our AI agent make real time queries to the Shopify store and then come back with some answers. So let's see, let's go and purchase this snowboard, okay? Uh, let me just hide this bar because this is a test store. It's in test mode. So now let's go and purchase this. Um, add to cart. Check out. 
out and um, more plus 11 20 and it's okay and on is my email credit card number made up and let's purchase this right okay purchase complete so let's go and uh, just like start a new chat brand new um, and ask a question want to add a note to my order my email is come I don't know my order number okay found the order this is what I ordered so note leave package with doorman okay so it says it did it let's see if it did it go to our test store fresh page these are the orders so this is the new order that we got click on it and uh, yep notes leave package with doorman has been added uh, so let's do another one let's just say um you know what um what is your cancellation policy order cancellation policy right so now let's have it do a search on that yes you can cancel your order if it hasn't shipped yet so um it hasn't shipped yes please cancel order time 66 Okay, so it says it canceled order. Um, let's check our store. Refresh the page. And yep, uh, after a note, uh, refunded the money, restocked the item, refund, archived the order, canceled the order. So success. Okay, so what did we do? We built a basic customer service agent in N8N using dtc.sh customer service mcp server and dtc.sh shopify mcp server that allowed us to vectorize a knowledge base search a knowledge base um, and in a more advanced version of this we'll be able to vectorize messages and search messages from other customers to answer more complex questions uh, the use case that we had here was really basic um, and we also connected shopify dtc.sh mcp server that allowed us to add notes to an order as well as um, cancel an order and let the customer know um, so hopefully this was useful uh, see you next time